JPB, it's only right, baby. Yeah, why you mad? I got a bad bro. Name hot in these streets, no Tabasco. But I'm so stuck, that's a fact, yo. And if you think I'm running, you can run it back, yo. Go run it back. You know that I run it. Everything you wanna do, I already done it. And I got your little boo telling me she love me. I got this one, that one. Damn, it's gonna be a long night. Yeah. Today's video is going to be a little bit different than usual. Rather than just make an editing tutorial, we are going to talk about the B-roll concept as a whole. Also, I'm going to share with you some tricks to enhance your production value, equipment, and how I edited that tutorial with KineMaster. Without any further ado, let's go under. The first thing that you need to take into account when you are preparing for a B-roll is the music. Music selection is by far the most frustrating part of content creation. But music is what's going to dictate the flow of your story. I put together a list of copyright-free websites and channels that can help you with your music selection. The list is on the description box below. Second, make sure to create a storyboard and a shot list for your project. Trying to guess what shot you are going to do next doesn't look professional at all, and it's going to be reflected in your work. Plus, the last thing that you want if you're working with a client, like I was for this project, is to give him or her the impression that you don't know what you are doing. There is a website in the description box below that you can use to print out free storyboard templates for your next project. And third is logistics. You need to make sure that you visit the location before the shooting if possible. Make sure to have a list of all the equipment you are going to need. Let's jump into KineMaster to see how I edited this project. Okay, so the first thing that I did was to shot the uh, establishing shot. This shot is very important because it allows you to tell your audience where your story is taking place. So for that, what I did was I placed myself across the street between my car and my friend's car. So I could use an asset foreground to add movement to the shot. And the camera was mounted on a slider. I also, and this is one of the, the tricks that I use, I got the street completely wet, as you can see. So any light will be reflected on the water. So for this shot, what I did was I placed my slider on a 45 degree angle to the front of the car. And I did this for two reasons. I wanted to make clear who my subject is, meaning if it was a man, a woman, a child, an animal, whatever the case might be. And two, I wanted to showcase his working tools. In this instance, it's a briefcase. The next shot shows my subject entering to his working place. And the very first shot after that one shows my subject getting ready for work. And again, it's showing the briefcase with give continuity to the scene. So try to keep a steady flow throughout your video. The following shot creates anticipation. He opens the briefcase, but you don't see what's inside. To make it more dramatic, what I did was I placed two bicolor temperature lights inside of the briefcase and I use a warm color to create contrast, as you can see in these areas. The shot after that shows the interior, and from there, every shot is pretty much up to you. The only thing that you need to keep in mind is your sequence. It has to make sense from the point of view of your audience. Now let's talk about sound effects and color grading, and how you can accomplish these results utilizing KineMaster. This is how this opening sequence sounds without sound effects. So I replaced my client's car sound and I added a stopping brake sound to make it appear like he was driving faster than what he really was. <laughs> sound effect is also up to you as long as it makes sense visually too. For example, for the lights effects turning on, I used a stapler sound and I bet that you didn't notice.
For the color grading, I use the KineMaster filters feature. Under basic, I use the preset B12. For the opening and closing shots, I drop the intensity to 50% because of the low light conditions outside. And I kept it at 100% for the interior shots. All the sound effects outside of KineMaster are listed on the description box below. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't, activate the notification bell, follow me on Instagram and Twitter, and I will see you next time, Underwater.